Good morning, um, and I do say good morning because it's about 20 after 6 a.m. Uh, on a Wednesday, and what is it, June 13th. Um, it's, I feel like I say this every time I start to talk on YouTube. It's been a while, um, and I, I, but I, I have a little project that I thought might be fun to document. Um, on video and in with some chatting uh, so here I am um, it's been it's been a minute and let's see if I can so I, I, I can explain what I want to do um, I have I have a patreon uh, shout out to patreon and patrons and um, and I have a, a friend of mine on there that always gets CDs um, we have we have uh, a tier on the Patreon where uh, you support me with a $3 pledge and you get physical media, cassette or compact disc. Um, I haven't quite gone to the mini disc or, or any other uh, physical format, but he gets CDs and he did text me the other day that um, he's coming into town and, and uh, all of his CDs are scratched up so i said well i can make some new ones and i thought it might be fun to um to make a full red pants box set so i ordered some old plastic jewel cases off of uh the horrible amazon.com it was the only way i could get them really quickly um so i got the four cd set uh jewel cases here uh a little unboxing video for you. Oh, got some some bubble wrap. All right, nothing else. Okay. Oh, it's been a very long time since I've seen one of these. Ooh la la. Okay. It's been an even longer time since I've taken one apart. Let's see. I think if I remember. Yeah, there we go. My uh, record store day days coming back to me. Okay, cool. All right, so I thought I would just make some artwork for each one of these panels. We'll burn four CDs um, and then maybe make like a little booklet with the track listings in there. Um, I have about four years worth of music and so I divided that up into four CDs. I've already taken the, taken the time to, um, to make up each disc for each year, the last four years. And, uh, there's, there's a lot of tunes to put on there. So, all right, this should be pretty easy. That was, uh. Okay, here we are on my computer. Um, as you can as you can see, I use a free program called GIMP because I don't do a ton of uh, crazy uh, design work to where I should spend a lot of money on Photoshop. So, okay, I'm gonna apologize right now. Our cat Baxter is uh, really wanting attention and has jumped into my lap. So, if you hear purring, if things get wild, it's his fault. So the other night I sort of laid out the front cover and the back cover, and then I've exported those and dropped them into one one file here, which I'll print from. And I've got some cut lines put on there just, uh, just to be safe. And let's see here. We'll go to File, Print, and usually, let's see here, make sure Got it on color. If you go to advanced and click it to high quality, uh, it's usually a little bit better. I'll be printing on um, this hammer mill paper. It's 32 pounds, so it's a little, little heavier. Um, I've got just a run of the mill dusty uh, Canon, just in case anybody really wants to know, MX492. Not amazing, but 
it will get the job done, I think. Okay, well, this is a uh, designing, uh, like, I don't know, one-on-one error. I don't think I left enough space at the top, you can see. Um, and it kind of got cut off up there. So I think I'm gonna need to move that one down and at least reprint the top, top part. Okay, much better. Um, now I, I gotta get the kids ready for the day. Gotta get up and get moving. Um, so we'll have to continue this project a little later. Okay, all right. Okay, now for one of my favorite uh, pieces of equipment, the paper cutter. Okay, so I'm just, um, I'm just making a little template to kind of I wanted to double check to make sure that this thing is the right size and that it will fit in the, in the jewel case because if not, it's going to be kind of a not so great. Okay, it does fit, but whatever measurements I got don't have the little, little uh, however much that is. So ideally, I wouldn't have cut these out. <laughs> Okay, we'll have to come back to this. Okay, so it's been about, I don't know, about 13, 14 hours or so since I was working on this little project. Um, and I'm back with a uh, fresh printout. Kind of the uh, downside of DIY is sometimes you have to do things over and over again. Um, but um, I've got an idea to take uh, this the back cover of a old Yola Tango CD and um, and then just sort of pencil out the part that was missing earlier whenever I tried to piece that thing together okay Cool. All right, I'm gonna cut these out again. here with burning some CDs. Got my last playlist ready to go and um, I got these blank CDs um, that are white on top which is cool because you can just take a sharpie to them and write on them and um, and I finally bought myself a little CD drive not too long ago uh, so I can hook it up to my newer computer. I used to use like a super old computer to <laughs> make CDs all right, um, cat has just jumped back into my lap again. Sorry for the shaky cam. Thanks, cat. Okay. All right, burn. Oh. Okay, I'm back down here in the basement, and I'm gonna finish this project off and piece everything together. Okay, I'm guessing I'm just gonna have to kind of fold these. I don't, um, 
I have a scoring board somewhere, but I don't think this paper is probably too thin to use that. Maybe I can use this to fold it. Okay, so this is gonna be this is gonna be the back one. So this is gonna go like that, I think. Okay, let's see here. I kind of wish I had done some art on the inside, like a little uh, secret type of thing, like Radiohead or something. Maybe next time I can uh, do something like that. Okay, here we go. We've got disc one, disc two, Disc four and disc three. I also <clears throat> pieced together this little uh, track listing booklet last night. Um, probably spent way more time than I should have on it. Doing a little. Luckily, I have like all these things in uh, my um, on a hard drive, like all these images. But it was kind of fun to go back this. Especially this, these two are, uh, I think, some of the first stickers that I made uh, way back in 2018. So it was kind of fun. But um, yeah, I wish I would have maybe planned it out a little bit better. But uh, maybe an extra couple of pages because I kind of had to squeeze in on the first two pages here of the track listings. But uh, you live and you learn. So yeah. Uh, about 22 to 23 songs on each on each disc filled with uh, demos and alternate takes and whatnot from everything let's see here what fit so I'm about to squeeze it in right here here is our final look Good stuff. I think this is the end of this uh, adventure. Uh, thank you for coming along. Thank you to my friend Aaron who supports me on Patreon and will be receiving this uh, fine package. And thank you to all the other folks that have continued to support me on Patreon. Uh, it's a uh, it's a lovely little community over there that I have, and um, if you're so inclined, check it out. I, I post a, at least one recording a week on there, um, every Monday, and then I try to share some artwork here and there as well. But um, yeah, so if you made it this far, I hope uh, I hope you've enjoyed all this stuff. Uh, if you have any questions on supplies or anything, just holler at me um, and let me know. Okay, all right. Goodbye, YouTube. Until next time. Take care. See you later. Mm -hmm.